this is kind of it. Like it's still kind of falling in with everybody that this is kind of it. And this big performance is kind of our, our one last shot at the whole thing. I really think that you can't fake Motown. You can't fake these songs. Either you can sing them or you can't. I definitely feel more energetic now because you know it's coming down to a, the main event. Hopefully people see that I have potential. Right now I'm just like a project that people could develop, like Play-Doh. I was telling my girlfriend up before I left, I'd rather have been cut before the 12 than actually be the 12 and almost make it. I really want this, but if I don't get it, I know I'm gonna make it someday. I know it because I want it so bad. Yesterday I was a little nervous because I didn't really know the whole melody and words and stuff, but today, I'm much more confident. When I got into this competition, my really main goal was to make it as far as possible. It was never really in my head that I would make it this far. It's a competition. Everybody, even though you want everybody to be a winner, you, in your heart you still want to win. I love my outfit, I love the stylist, I love my vocal coach. I can't wait, I can't wait. I, I can't wait. I'm mostly worried about the voting at home just because I never know which way that's gonna go. For five days now, the Pop Stars finalists have had every means at their disposal to make tonight's showcase performances their very own personal statement. Be it wardrobe, choreography, lighting, or interpretation of their Motown song, each finalist has personally designed the performance you're about to see. Throughout tonight's show and for 48 hours following its conclusion, you, the audience, have the chance to vote for your favorite pop star. Phone lines are now open. You can vote as often as you like. Next week, the seven most popular finalists will be revealed. As selected by you, the audience, they'll be this year's final contenders to become the one. Before we begin, a special announcement. Shahara from Montreal has chosen to withdraw from the competition and will not be featured tonight. Unfortunately, it is too late to replace her. Her leaving has cost someone else the chance to be in the final 12. 11 finalists are now left. Tonight is your chance to choose the final seven contenders to become the one. When I got into this competition, my really main goal was to make it as far as possible. And now that I made it this far, I just feel like, I just feel great about it. So even if I don't end up winning, I would just be happy that I made it until this level. A native of Trinidad and Tobago, 20-year-old Cavell grew up in the suburbs of Montreal. Because it's a Motown song, I really want to put a lot of soul into it. And I believe that Motown also has a lot of roots from, um, from gospel as well. And I wanted to really integrate all of these aspects into my song. And that really reflects on my personality as well. Because my song is a very smooth uh, love song, I want to have maybe a sexy look and also a um, classy look as well, just to, um, to be able to project the song because of the words of the song as well as the music, how it goes. All the time And I can't get you out of my mind Cause I 
don't want to get over you. This year's finalists come from across Canada. Newfoundland native Krista has had extensive experience showcasing her many talents. I think if you really feel good about your lyrics, then the melody that, you know, that someone else sang is like a suggestion. But you'll find your own nuances, you'll find your own melodic contours, you'll find your own way of expressing basically an ideal that's universal. It's just too cute. I'm very expressive in my style. And I'm not afraid to try things that are new. Like, I'll pretty much wear anything. If I feel it, I'll wear it. I don't care how ridiculous it looks to other people. Whoa! Oh, she's got it together, this one. This is awesome. That is cute. It was like the third thing I tried on, and it was just, it just jumped out at me as, this is risque, this is you, you're risque. This is a huge opportunity with so many possible benefits. And I'm just going to do my best. And I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Send me free, why don't you, babe? Get out my life, oh, why don't you, babe? Cause you don't really love me You just keep me hanging on You don't really need me You just keep me hanging on Why do you keep a coming around? with my heart mm, Why don't you get out of my life and let me make a brand new start Let me get over you the way you've gotten over me Oh, oh Set me free and why don't you, babe Let me be and why don't you, babe Moving to Manitoba from his birthplace in small town Ontario, Mark has been an active entertainer in Winnipeg's Filipino community. Well, first, our stylist came at me with like this big formal look with a suit and a hat and tie and everything. But that's just not me. I, I even on formal occasions I try to stray away from like the big suits and tuxes and stuff like that. I come with a more like urban kind of soul look, 
So this is perfect Motown soul music and so it's perfect. We're gonna do the white tie. We're gonna do the white fedora. Wonderful. We're on. With different people, it's different meanings to the song. That's what like, that's like with every song. And I'm hoping I come across like really powerful and really like meaningful because it was used for the September 11th attacks as well. So it is a really deep, meaningful song. your chance to vote. Phone lines will be open throughout the show and for 48 hours after its conclusion. of helping tonight's performances was denied the finalists. From health and beauty hints to band world's staging expertise, making them as comfortable off stage as on was of paramount importance. At this point, I don't think the emphasis is really on winning right now. What matters is as long as the music comes across and touches the people that are listening and makes them realize or makes them appreciate the work and the effort that has actually gone through the process. Born in Australia, 23-year-old Edmontonian Stephen is a computer support technician. For me personally, I like a little bit of an antique style to things. I like a little bit of a classy look. I don't like stuff that's too, too complicated. Who isn't into looking good? Like. <laughs>
lost and about to give up. No, and you feel the best is good enough, and you feel. Now on your own When you need a hand to hold Reach out I know you're gonna reach out yeah, hey, hey, hey. I will be there for you With the love that will you Yeah Remember, phone lines are now open, so let us know who you think will be Canada's seven pop stars finalists. Obviously, I want to win. Everyone here wants to, but I, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to, to learn, to experience, to grow as a singer, as a professional, as a musician, as, as a person. Tiffany Joy has been actively involved in several Winnipeg bands and stage productions. I found a one-of-a-kind bright pink dress, and I just love it. I really love the old piano, love the drumming, and I, I'm sticking to the Motown, but adding my flavor to it. down six to go phone in now and let us know who your favorite pop star is the song is just kind of the old school motown flavor and stuff and i like it it's it's gonna be good 
Nathan has been obsessed with music from an early age and is determined to make it his career. With me and Elaine, it's not like do this or do that. I'm having the opportunity to kind of arrange it kind of how I want. Like we're just adding this, taking this out and, and just piecing it together, which we couldn't do before because it was always just the, the verse, the chorus. That's all you do. I'm a, a, a laid back kind of person, yet at the same time they want to project me and stuff and, and it's different because yeah, I'm just laid back. So keeping my flavor and stuff while at the same time doing the opposite is that little twist. It was in the early 80s that a young family immigrated to Vancouver and raised a music-loving, free-spirited young girl named Rosette. Me and the stylist were arguing like for like 20 minutes for the afro. I'm okay, keeping this on for the whole day. I wanted the Jackson 5 afro, but then some special people told me not to, and so I didn't. I want a playful but yet sexy kind of vibe, because that's my vibe, period. So, I don't know, I just want to hang on to that. If it wasn't for my vocal coach, I would have been screwed up, totally. She just says to me, Rosette, you gotta now focus on your vocals. Everybody knows you can dance, everybody knows you can move, everybody knows you're comfortable on stage. Now you just have to sing. When I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. Those pretty faces always made you stand up in the crowd. But someone picked you from the bunch when love was on.
You are now the judges for this year's pop stars. Phone in now and vote for your favorite finalist. I've been singing before I could talk. I was humming songs when I was like one month old. So I know that I'm meant for this. Montreal native Kareem has performing experience in every genre of popular music. I didn't want anything like too sexy or too too much, you know? I, I don't like when I'm watching stars on TV, okay, the normal celebrities, okay? It's like, it's too much sometimes. And I'm not, I don't feel good in that. And that's not like the type of image I want to project of myself. I had like this, this huge blockage in my head. It was like, I don't like this song, I don't like this song. And I was singing, it was like, I don't like this song. But we worked on the song, we changed it. It was like, I was starting to like the song. I was like, hey, this is a good song. And I was singing and I was like, okay, it's, it's gonna be cool. Even though pain and heartache seem to follow me wherever I go, though I tried and tried to hide my feelings, Never can say goodbye. Every time I think I've had enough, it's not heading for the door. There's a very strange vibration. Here's some me right to the core. It says, Turn around, you fool. You know you love it more and more. Tell me why is it so? Don't wanna let you go. Pop Stars finalist has developed as deep a passion for performing music as he has for playing sports. For 17-year-old Wesley, it's all about energy. The angle we're kind of taking is keep it upbeat, make, try to get the audience pumping a little bit, uh, toe tapping a little bit, you know, and just try to make it a little different from what everyone else is going to do with uh, the traditional R&B Motown type deal. What I want to do is just kind of put kind of a punk rock, new age look into a Older clothes, like we went to vintage stores and picked out older clothes. Gonna have like ripped off <laughs> sleeves and stuff like that. So I started with the hair, which I always have, so kind of worked my way from there. I can't really put into words how important it is because 
for me, I've, I've talked to the other people and they all do their thing, like professionally or semi-professionally. And me, I'm just kind of go through life singing, doing competitions, that kind of stuff. So for me, this is like my, my big opportunity. exactly who I am quite yet. So that's why it's so hard is because, you know, I mean everything and I know who I am, but like to put that in clothes and makeup and everything is kind of frustrating for me. Though the youngest pop stars finalist, Jocelyn still has extensive performing experience. At first I'm like, okay, we'll just do it like Marvin Gaye, how we were listening to it. But then she's like, okay, well, why don't we put a little more vocals in? Because she understands that I've got that range going on so that I can hit the notes that she wants me to hit. So we're kind of making it a little more sexy, which scares me a bit because I'm not in tune with that very much.
Queen C is unique among all pop stars finalists. She's married, owns a hip hop clothing store, and is the mother of two young children. I want to look like me on stage, but um, I like to look for something different that's unique or whatever. And so uh, we went shopping and I picked out something that fit really well. And we're just going to add to it to make it me even more. It's a very powerful song and we just collaborated and chopped in certain spots and we're putting more of a groove or like a funky groove to it kind of and now I was told we have three background vocalists so that'll even give the song more ambiance. Like sweet morning dew I took one look at you and it was plain to see you are my destiny With my arms open wide I threw away my pride Sacrifice for you Dedicate my life to you I will go where you lead Always there in time of need And when I lose my way Protects his nest for you. I'll do my best. Stand by you like a tree. Can't nobody even try and move me, darling. And you I found strength when I was torn down. But no matter what's in store, because together we can open any door. I just to do what's good for you. I'll inspire you a little bit higher. I know you can make a woman. audience to help reduce 11 pop stars finalists to just seven. 